scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time talking about main range release from Big Finish, number 203, Terror of the Sontarans. Now, for those of you who were paying any attention whatsoever, you will know that I didn't get to go to Hooverville. At Hooverville was Dan Starkey, and I had a lot of questions lined up to ask him all about, well, playing a Sontaran, being a Sontaran, and in this case, writing for Sontarans. Yes, he's in the story, but he's also, well, written it. Again, this is the last part of this current trilogy with the Seventh Doctor and Mel. But it's nice to see some of the actors, well, in stuff. Now, I know this is one of the things you get taught at drama school. If you're having trouble getting work, or even if you're not, it's always best to write the sort of stuff that you want to be in, and then be in it. That way you get work. That way you get known for more things, and it grows, and it becomes better. Now, Dan's obviously old school and thinks along these lines, and he's produced a great piece of work here. Obviously, he's been working with John Dorney, and when it comes to John Dorney's scripts, well, nobody's going to be disappointed at all. I mean, how many Doctor Who stories have we heard the extras on when it's gone, I don't know, someone like Colin Baker's gone, well, it was a John Dorney script, so we knew we'd be happy. These things come up time and time again, and there is a reason So, we're in good hands all round. I don't think that that's a major issue. So, what's it about? Let's go over to the synopsis. Once, it was a mining facility. Then later, its corridors rang with screams generated by grotesque military experiments. However, when the Doctor and Mel arrive on a hostile alien world after detecting a distress signal, the base they find themselves in is almost deserted. But not for long. Soon the Doctor's old enemies, the Sontarans, have landed and are searching for the remains of their previous research team. Before long, they uncover evidence of strange occurrences on the planet, of madness and death. They are warriors bred for war, strong of spirit, unafraid of death. To fear the enemy is an act of betrayal. Nothing holds terror for the Sontarans until now. Nice build-up, nice delivery, nice bit of pitching. It kind of works. Yes, the Santarans don't live long. Yes, they are a clone race, but they are a clone race with variants on a theme. Some of them are bred for more intelligence, some of them are bred for more muscle, and all of them think they're better than everyone else. There are other races in this story, but again, to talk about that sort of thing would be verging on the spoilerific. It has the feel of certain other Doctor Who stories, but only in the sense of using them as a starting point, like a baseline that you can riff on. And that's absolutely fine. Logical progressions of other concepts really isn't a bad place to begin. So yes, a brilliant start, and I hope that Dan takes this as a vote of confidence and writes some more Santaran stories, because he could be the go-to man for the Potato Head Men. It's just a great tale. And so with that, I'll play you the trailer and let you decide for yourself. So until next time, be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Doctor, Doctor, I think something followed us down the stairwell. Not now, Mel, I've nearly got this. Something did follow us, Doctor! I am Stetimar, and this is my reckoning! Doctor Who, Terror of the Sontarans. The events of the last few days have driven us to the edge of madness and beyond. I've just sealed half my crew in the caves after they try killing the rest of us. The others are upstairs in the observation deck worshipping the stones. We knew what we were doing when we signed up, but none of our training prepared us for any of this. I will blast you to atoms! Small your eyes, poor 
your aid. Come then, lost children. I will tear the shit off you. Think, Case, think. You're a Santaran warrior, but you're intelligent too, an officer. You're meant to be brains as well as brawn. Do you insult me further, sir? <laughs> Not so fast, you... Yes, let go of me! Get off! <laughs> Taste my claws, Eggman! <laughs> Big finish. We love stories. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast, available on RSS, iTunes, Stitcher, Audio Boom, and Tumblr. Doctor Who and its associated works are copyright of the BBC. No infringement is intended. You can contact the show, donate, buy merchandise, or find out more about my other projects by visiting the Tin Dog Podcast homepage and clicking on the links. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. Mm-hmm.